there are things in this world we don't understand. Understand. Why are we here? What is the meaning of our existence? When will Jake Paul be arrested? These are questions I ask myself every day. Today we are going to be exploring the unknown. The spookies. The scaries. The ghosts. Boo. I scared you. Watch out. Ooh. Welcome to a brand new episode of Reality Check. Now today we're going to be looking at a show that uh, I used to watch when I was young. And when I used to watch this show, it like scared me. Like I'll be honest, when I was younger, this show legitimately scared me. And it's the dumbest thing to get scared about. Well, I mean, I, I, I guess it makes sense, you know, if you think all of it's real. There might be some spooky stuff here and there. But I am talking, of course, of the wonderful show, Ghost Adventures, with the host that has, I don't even know what you would call it. I wouldn't say a personality. It just, it seems like like the light's on upstairs, but just no one's home. Like there's something going on up there, but I don't even think he knows what's going on half the time. Like he always has this like, this look, like he's like posing for something, like he's just, But we're gonna we're gonna go into the show. We're gonna rip the show apart, make it look stupid because the show is very stupid. Now let's go ahead and get on the subject of ghosts while we're at it, since we're talking about ghost adventures. Basically, you know they hunt ghosts on the show. Now, uh, are ghosts real? Uh, hey, who knows? I'm skeptical about it. You know, like most people, we don't know. There could be something. There might not be. But this show don't prove shit. There is zero science behind every type of technology they use for uh, capturing ghosts. There is zero logic behind it. They just are assuming it's working. But even if the technology they're using might be working, the entire show can be summed up in one phrase. Did you hear that? Oh shit! Oh f Did you- Oh my god, did you hear that dude? What was that? What was that? Hey! What the f was it that? It sounded like something like, hey, I see you. Whoa. What was that? Did you hear that, Jamie? Oh, yeah. That is what the show is. 100%. Here and there, something touches their arm. Here and there, they start feeling stuff that we're just supposed to trust them that they feel. Every single ghost here, well, every single ghost in general uh, is old. Is very, very, like centuries, centuries old. Why? Why is every ghost old? Why is it always an abandoned building? Why is it always in a rundown place? Why has it got to be old? Terry just died down the street from a heart attack. Why isn't he haunting the house? Why aren't they ghost hunting that area? Like, uh, what? Uh, a lot of people die every day. Why isn't everything haunted all the time? I, I, I don't get it. There are more people dead than there are alive. Why isn't, why is it there old? Why is it just old? <laughs> I don't get it. We're gonna be watching an episode together because I want to show you guys, I want to pick apart little parts here and there to, just to kind of explain to you guys why the show is so freaking dumb with a host who has literally no personality. The show, all it is, is scary edits of random stuff, just like a, of a of a dark room and then there's like little like scary music and like glitching stuff here and there and then they transfer over to another scene and it glitches and... They, they interview this person and it like scary music plays in the background and then there's like a scary hand and then the, it's just the, the editing on it is so fucking dumb. I want to see if these spirits are at unrest down there. Something's going to happen to you. <laughs> what was that? What? Just, just like that. Like just, there's a random cut scene of like this old lady that's going, ah. <laughs> Ooh. He, oh, stock footage. Oh, it's so scary, man. There are things in this world that we will never fully understand. Understand. We want answers. These are things you don't understand. Not only does this guy have no personality whatsoever, he has the most monotone voice of any human I've ever met. 110 feet, yes sir. Straight down into the ground. 
What happens if the cable snaps? We would have less than five seconds to pray to whoever we believe in. Obviously, if the cable snapped, you would die. In most elevators, if you're on the top level and the cable snapped, you would die. What is the point of it? Oh yeah, that's it's supposed to be scary. Ugh. We're stunned to see a full hotel suite where the brave can spend the night in the foreboding, all enshrouding darkness. Have you heard of anybody while they were staying down here get freaked out? Uh, yes, sir. A husband and wife spent the night. She said 2.15 in the morning, she started to hear a loud moan that increased in noise level. Yeah. Can you imagine that? You're down here. It's always like just one small thing. You know, some places are different. Some people have more experiences. But when it's just like one thing, they fucking ride it hard. Like, there was a couple that heard a moan down here one time. I gotta interview every- ask everyone. Ask everyone, put in some, some scary footage of, of the couple getting scared from the moan. Yeah, you make it scary. You get cu cut scenes in there, make it about, what, what, five, five, six, ten minutes long, All right? You gotta get that ten ad revenue mark on, 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 a, on a travel channel show. Like, this is about the equivalent of, like, say, a commentary YouTuber who's running out of ideas for their video and has to stretch it. They have to stretch these shows. There is literally an episode, I'll pull up the clip, right here an episode where they go up to a woman and for no apparent reason they have to wait on her she has to go do something and they say oh looks like we got to wait on her and they put up a please wait or please hold on sign and just wait for no reason no reason whatsoever oh you've got ice cream bars yes we do among other things, eggs. Eggs. Feed. Feed. Chemicals. I'd like some chemicals and ice cream. Well, that ought to be good. That ought to be real good combination. Come together. There's a huge tank pulling up here. Mm -hmm. You need to attend to the tank? I do. OK, I'm going to stand by, and we're going to do okay. a uh, please stand by screen until she attends to the tank. They cut in a lot of stock footage. They interview a lot of people. They make sure they get that fucking, I think it's like 40 minute mark. They try really hard for it. What was that? It's begun. It's begun. What What was that? Yeah. You heard that, Ben? I did, yes, sir. It sounded like a distant Indian when they do like a little chant or something, didn't it? It might have been. Oh, what was that? Uh, Indian. Uh, distant Indian singing chants. That's exactly what that was. Uh, yeah, it's Indian. They always know exactly what the sound is and what like person it is. If it's a woman, it's a, if it's a man. If if it's a sound they catch on a recorder, they know exactly what it says every single time. Even though it's really hard to hear, they the first time they hear it, you can just, you fuck it. They know. And then they just put text under it and then replay it over and over until your mind reads that text as that. It, it's it's so dumb. Chris Aranaga investigated the Caverns restaurant in 2012. When we investigate here, we pretty much lock down the whole entire location and we- So this right here, another thing they do is when they interview someone, they do the old flashlight under the face technique every single time. Holy shit. Holy, who the fuck just moved my chair? There's no one here. There's no... There's no one here. Who the fuck moved my chair? Hello? Hello? All right, now we're going to the juicy part, the good part, the investigation. This is where shit gets real, guys. Are you guys ready to see some motherfucking ghosts? Whoa, did you hear that? What? The chain link fence over the way over there. Where over? What was that? Over there, I heard it move just now. I heard that. I just thought now. that was you. No, it was not me. Okay. No, it wasn't me. I promise. I didn't just shake, rattle the fence a little bit. I didn't tap anything. You know, like a producer. You know, there's probably like five other people with us in the background. But I, I didn't, I didn't do any. Nobody made any noise. It was that uh, ghost, scary, spooky. Watch out. Now, before everyone gets on my case about. 
what if it's real? Aaron, well, well what, if, what if all this is it's just real? It's real life. 100% ghosts. One of the actors on the show is ironically named Aaron. He is actually my favorite one. I've watched a lot of this show because of this, and he actually is... He, I, I like him. He, he's a good guy. He's a funny guy on there. I don't know if he got fired and came back to the show because I'm pretty sure he's still on the show. But uh, he came out on a podcast. I couldn't find the actual podcast. The only one I could find was like terrible audio quality, so I couldn't play it. But on the podcast, during the two-hour podcast, Goodwin dished out disappointing facts. It did not stop with the Travel Channel making him them record their own EVPs. So yes, they record their own EVPs as in like, you know, the audio digital recording stuff that they do. But he says they actually made them go back and film reactions of the crew so that they would act surprised when hearing things that did not actually occur. You know, because show business, if, it, if they don't find anything, they gotta make up something. If we film all night long and came back with uneventful material, they actually make us go back and act out scenes. It's sickening really, said an angry Goodwin. This started off as a real thing. It is just not consistent and active enough for being big shots at the network. So they basically have turned us into liars. We've been committing a fraud in my eyes and I've just about had enough. So there you go. It's, it, he said it right there. It's straight, straight proof. Like, like you don't need proof. You really don't need proof to get it, but there's straight proof for you. Why don't you come up here and join me? That was a ghost. That wasn't any of the producers or any anyone. Anyone they put there as ghost. Ghost through rocks. Caught on tape. Ooh, my heart rate just went crazy again. That's so weird. Your heart rate? Yeah, my heart rate. Like, in certain moments throughout this night, just boom, 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 boom. Like, uh, it just starts speeding up instantly. I feel a cloud of electric energy all around me. And I wonder if this EVP is spoken in a Native American language. Getting that electricity layer on my skin. Uh, I, <clears throat> it's just annoying that like 90% of the show is them feeling things, uh, you know, feeling someone touching them, feeling electric energy, feeling their heart rate go up, feeling nauseous, feeling angry emotions. All, they're just feeling stuff. Like, we're just supposed to trust you. There's never any, like, like proof of anything. Something is throwing rocks in this cave, and now it seems to be targeting us directly. What the f Stop, stop. What the f That was a rock being thrown. Jesus Christ. That was a freaking Dude. rock being thrown, bro. Oh, my God. That hit the f chain link fence. I am freezing right now. Do you feel cold? It's it freezing yeah. cold. Do you feel how cold it just got? Yeah. Is it just... You guys feel a cold? This oh, it just got cold. It's got really good. It's so weird. It's got cold. So basically, what happens here is a ghost throws a rock at them, and get this. Just wait and see where the rock is placed. Just, just wait and see. Here, stay where you're at. Come on. Look right there. Oh middle. my God! You see it? Holy. Oh. We just walked here, and that was not. That was there. not there. That is legit. That thing is meant to be seen. In the middle of the path. Perfectly. Perfectly centered in the path. That's a fucking ghost, man. I'm telling you. A rock thrown and landing perfectly in the center of the... Ghosts. It wasn't... It's not staged. It's not staged at all. Now, we, we watched a good amount of it. I think you guys get how stupid it is. Let's talk about the devices that they have for a second. Now, every time they have a device, they do like a little stop scene and then they point to it and show exactly what the device is, what it does. Now there's the spirit box, which just spams loud white noise. And somehow, I guess ghosts talk through it. Like it like cuts through the white noise and they talk through it or I, I guess. Stay up. Trouble. Hey. Enter. enter! Whoa, it just said enter! Whoa, whoa. whoa it just goes... Dude, it just goes whoa after I said whoa! Damn. Now, I get the digital recording 
thermal, all those different cameras, whatever, cool. Now, the one that blows my mind, bl blows my fucking mind, it actually exists, and, and they, I don't know if they actually think it works, but people think it works, is a little thing, it, it captures energy, right? And then it just displays a word that that energy meant to portray. What? What do you want to do to the candy, little girl? Dude, it says lick. Huh? Lick. Are you serious? Look. Shut the f up. What's that? Cleansing. Cleansing. Killed. Huh? It just said killed. Were you killed? Were you killed in this room? It's cold. It said outside. Water. Demon. It just said. Went out. Like it's so blatantly faked. Like, like it's just a device to scare people. It, it says like Demon Six. You know, it always answers the right shit at the right time. Like it, it's just the dumbest thing. There's no science behind it. How can energy go into words on a, a device? And if you were a ghost, how the fuck exactly would you know how to do that? Now, I might just be the dumb one, and they might be geniuses, and they're just on another level than I am. Probably swell up. They're intended to swell up and make you feel full so that you're not hungry down here in the cave because the only food items they sent were crackers and hard candy. It does what when it gets in the stomach? It swells up to make you feel like you're full, so you're not this hungry. This swells up? Yes, sir. It, it bloats up in your stomach. You're and no you longer die. hungry. It swells up and then you die. No, sir. Okay. Another thing I find hilarious about this show is uh the main guy he's a little bitch like he he's always like the most scared he's always like he and he always makes aaron this is why i like aaron so much he always makes aaron do stuff by himself aaron you're going upstairs you're going to the attic you're going to the basement by yourself i want to observe you he always says i want to observe what happens to you you like attacking women bruising them and Punching him in the face. All right, with who's coming down there right now, do what you did to that lady to him. I decide to send Aaron off alone to investigate the attic where it is said that a monk hung himself. I don't want to get out of the elevator. I want you to go up there alone and see what happens. We'll go outside. I just want to observe you alone. Go. Come on, I don't like this, dude. Note this now. Go. And to be honest, after watching it for a while, I I had fun watching it by how much dumb things happen. It's entertaining in the way that it's so bad it's good in my eyes. It's even rated well on on different sites and stuff like that. I get because I I, I honestly could see a lot of people watching it because of how dumb it is. It's just so stupid, it's almost charming. But it, still, you're lying to your audience. That's why I despise reality television shows. They're just lying to their audience. The, the, the dumb people who are tricked very easily by the media, they just take advantage of that and, you know, you know, all that stuff. But thanks again for watching this episode of Reality Check. I hope you enjoyed it. I spent a little bit extra time on it because I, I wanted to make this one a good one for you, for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a comment. Make sure to leave a like. And uh, follow me on social medias, all that nonsense. Thank you for 150,000 subscribers, by the way. We just hit that milestone recently. And we're popping, guys. We're fucking popping. Thank you so much. I want to give you a kiss on the mouth, but uh, we're through a screen. So uh, just kiss the screen. Kiss your monitor right now. Mwah. See, we just kissed electronically. I mean, you, could, you technically kissed your monitor. Freaking... Why would you kiss your why would you kiss your monitor? Freaking weirdo. I'm not gay, but my dick is gay. I want to bait two girls all day. But my dick won't let me. Yeah. My dick won't let me. Like I'm serious. I, I'm not gay. I'm mean, seriously. Yo, dick, what the fuck? I'm trying to get this bitch to get me the nut. What do you mean, bitch?